Okay, um, today um, my, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, composite entities and um, ERD diagram, actually the ERD diagram for the composite entities. And so you know that we learn ERD uh, model, right? So ERD components of the ER model, entity relationship model, it has uh, three main components, entities, right? and attributes and relationship, right? So these are the three main components, right? And then uh, the ERD model forms the basis of the ER diagram. The ERD, ERD the diagram represent the conceptual view of the database. So before we move to um, the ERD, right? Let's just review the, uh, the cardinality. So this is called cross foot symbol, and this this means a zero or more, right? So zero or many. So many side is optional, and this means one or more. So one or many. So many side is mandatory. So this is one to one. So one side is mandatory, and zero one. So one side is optional. As you can see. Whenever you have this uh, zero uh, notation, that means optional, right? So whenever you see this one, notation means mandatory. So for example, so relationship uh, participation. And let's take a look. So we have uh, two different kinds of participation. One is called optional participation. And another one is called mandatory participation. And as you can see, so let's look at this example. So I mean, this is a zero, right? So that's like optional. So course um, generate zero or more classes. So that means there is a call, there is a course, right? Which may not generate a class. So that's why it's optional. And this one is a course generate one or more class classes. So this is a mandatory. So each course, so each course generate one or more classes, right? So if there is a class, that class must generate at least one class, right? So the class is like having a class is kind of mandatory. So let's take a look at. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's look at the uh, lecture slide. To the database lecture slide. Uh, okay, so this is the page, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this page. Okay, so for this case, right? For this case, the first is optional case. Basically, the course generate zero or more, right? more uh, classes so the, the course generate zero or more um, classes so this class is optional right so that means some course may not generate a class because uh, for some course uh, there could be a zero uh, class right so this is optional and for the mandatory case so basically, if I just draw a complete ER, uh, ER diagram, there's a course uh, generate the one or more, one or more uh, class, more classes, right? So one course, minimum one, maximum one course. So basically, it's one course generate one or many right one or many uh, classes so this is like one to m in this case is a mandatory right now uh, let's take talk about the mnn relationship so this is like many to many or sometimes it's called m m m m right or mnm and this is the um, ER diagram, right? ERD. And if you see the class is entity name, the class or the table, right? 
class is taken by many students, many. So I'll just say uh, one or more students. And one, so students take what? One or more classes, right? Uh, and this, I know that this is this is not a complete ER diagram because it, uh, to have a complete ER diagram, you have to um, specify the primary key, right, for each table and etc. Right? But uh, let's say this is a um, ER diagram for the classes and students. So, for example, uh, the class and then student, right? So from from uh, right to left, student, right? Students take what? One or more classes, right? And if you look at from the left to the right side, the class is taken by one or what? Uh, more students. So this is the uh, many to many relationship. But the problem is, the problem with M and M relationship, right, is that they cannot be easily represented by the rational model, right? So why? So I'll show you why in the next page. So if you look at the next page, uh, this is a M and M relationship. So as you can see, you have student entity, right? This is a student, and then you have a class what, entity, right? So this is a class table. And as you can see, so student one, two, three, four, which is John, right? John is taking what? Um, 12, 14 classes. 12, and so John is taking 12 and 14. So this is already uh, many, right? So one student is taking one or more uh, classes. So this is a uh, one to many. I mean, now um, one to many. So from the class to student, right? Let's take it from the class and student. So this class ID, right? So this class ID, uh, course name, and the class section. And then this is student ID. Uh, by the way, uh, if you look at these two tables, right? So these two tables are related by 14 keys, right? So students are related to the class through uh, class ID. So this is what? This is a 14 key. Right? This is a 14 key. And the class is related to the student through what? Student ID. Right? So this is the 14 key in the class table. Right, so this is 14 key because student ID is used in the related table a as a primary key. So student ID is a 14 key. Vice versa, the class ID is a 14 key in the student table because this 14 key used in another related table as what as a primary key, right? So in M and M relationship, this two table has a uh, each each of the table has a fourteen key, right? That's another unique uh, characteristic of this M and M relationship. But the problem with this is, as you can, s I mean, first, okay, now, then it's cl let's look at the from a class to student. So this uh, class one two is taken by. Um, Student uh, one two three, so this is one two one, and the uh, let's look at the class fourteen, right? This is class fourteen. Uh, actually, the thirteen is taken by two three four one, right? And then class fourteen is taken by one two three, so so the class one. One zero zero one four is taken by thirty four taken by John, right? So this class is taken by John, 
and then the same class 1 4 is also taken by 2 3 4 1 Jane right so this is like a uh, also is M so that's why is uh, this is a M and M relationship right so the one class is taken by John and Jane for example like specific specifically one 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 I mean one zero zero one for this class is taken by John and Jane right so that's it's M so basically this is an M to M relationship but the problem right the problem with this uh, M and M relationship is that as you can see to represent the students taking this one two three four is taking um, class 12 and what 14 right we know that the student ID should be a primary key but uh, to represent that this this guy is taking these two different uh, courses right you have to I mean this primary key as you can see is cannot be unique right you know that this is if this is a primary key then we're supposed to see only one um, primary key used in the table right but for example we have a two values as two primary key I mean this one two three four used in twice right and two three four one also use uh, three times because this Jane to represent the Jane is taking this 13 14 23 we have to use uh, this primary key uh, three times instead of one so this is already does not really make sense because the primary key has to be used only once in a table the same thing for the classes so if you look at the class ID right uh, the 14 and 14 is used twice already as a primary key in a class right which uh, so this is not the correct right so primary key only used once in a table so the problem is so the solution is that whenever we have a many-to-many -many relationship we must transfer this M and M or M and N relationship into one to M relationship right so this is the uh, solution so to do that we need to introduce a uh, middle table or the middle entity called the composite and bridge entity right um, so if you look at the next slide well we have so to resolve this issue right whenever we have uh, this whenever uh, whenever we have this uh, MNN relationship between two uh, ta two entities we must introduce you know, something called the composite entity or the bridge entity okay so in the next lecture I'm going to talk more about this composite entities okay so let me uh, stop record my lecture